Dubai made aviation history on Monday afternoon with the first proof-of-concept flight of its new two-seater self-flying taxi in an aerial test in Jumeirah Beach residence area. The self-flying taxi will be used for the world's first self-flying taxi service, meaning passengers will be shuttled across Dubai without a pilot. It is really exciting to be here and to have accomplished this milestone in record time, I have to say, uh, together with RTA and Dubai Aviation Authorities. So I really think this is a great accomplishment today. The current prototype version has a maximum flight time of approximately 30 minutes at a cruise speed of 50 kilometers an hour. It measures about 2 meters in height and the diameter of the rotor rim, including propellers, is just over 7 meters. The test was monitored by the drone tracking system newly implemented by the DCAA to ensure flight safety at all times in Dubai airspace. The vehicle will be programmed to fly from point A to point B, maybe even C and D, okay, depending on, on the battery life, but uh, that's, that's what it's all about, to say this vehicle can fly without interface from anyone on board in an autonomous manner and, uh, and that's where we're going in the future. So you'll be able to jump on board and, uh, and have a pre-programmed uh, routing, hypothetically from, uh, let's say, Murdoch City Center to Dubai Mall. You'll hop out at Dubai Mall and, and someone else will, will enjoy the ride going in the opposite direction. So that's what proof of concept is, is all about. The taxi will be integrated with public transport systems such as the Dubai Metro, Dubai Tram, public buses, marine transit modes and taxis. And over the next five years, the RTA will collaborate with the UAE General Civil Aviation Authority and the Dubai Civil Aviation Authority to ensure that the operational requirements for implementing AAT services are put in place. Logan Fish for Gulf News.